Yo, what's up, community? Your man, Evil Foot, Metro Manila. <laughs> you know the place. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to like the content if you like it. Bringing you another evil sneaker review. And today we have something special since it's a holiday and all. Giving you the AJ23 Chinese New Year. As always, music is from my homie Anthony Accurate, who is the illest producer ever. So yeah, I just wanted to give you guys like a visual of some of the ongoings throughout the city today. Uh, you know, here in Southeast Asia, you know, it's the Philippines, it's not China per se, but you know, it's a pretty, a pretty big deal around town. I can just say it's a lot different than what I experienced, you know, growing up in the U.S. Uh, so, you know, pretty, pretty happy time of the year, right? So I definitely give Jordan Brand a lot of credit for putting out dope classic silhouettes, you know, in celebration of the Chinese New Year, there was like a 13, a 6, a 5 low, a 1 low, you know, a lot of dopeness. Feet on feet today are my AJ1 Court Purple, uh, very dope sneaker. You see, I went with the tie-dye laces. Originally, I had the black in here, but because I thought the tie-dye were an accident, uh, but I threw them in and it looks pretty dope. You know, I'm, I'm with it. And as always, at EvilTShirtClub.com for the rarest, illest, most villainous t-shirts ever. Sorry guys, lady is not included. So sorry. But if you go to EvilTShirtClub.com right now and look for this t-shirt, which is called Destructive, you can get it out to you. Uh, so special holiday release. Uh, this is the OG of the Jordan 23. I'm one of those loser guys that only, you know, goes 1 through 14 for the most part. But I got to give credit when credit is due. This sneaker or this silhouette is definitely growing on me. Uh, this is the OG colorways that are re originally released in February 2008. Uh, designed by Tinker Hatfield and Mark Smith. And no, I didn't pick this up. So another in-store review. So I'll try to do that whenever there's something. I, this year, I, I'm making a pivot to kind of like stick to what I really, really want. Uh, which are, like I mentioned earlier, uh, the OG colorways 1 through 14. That, that's my goal. I do have some gaps to fill in. And if you look at some of my previous videos, uh, you'll see that I am taking that approach. And that's what 2023 is dedicated to me. Year of MJ. So, you know, why not get some of the sneakers that he played in? At least retros of those sneakers. You know, that's my goal. Uh, so special packaging here, as you can see. And the sneaker, I, like, honestly, this silhouette has grown on me quite a bit uh you know since it originally released like the quality has always been there i've always thought that of this sneaker uh, but it's just starting to look a lot better for me but you know this colorways is just a little too light for me more on the white or very like light gray whatever color this is uh you can look at the box for that uh, but you do have his mj's initials here throughout the uh, toe box area you know, very, very well designed sneaker. They, they really put their heart into this. You know, you got the, the fingerprint on the um, outsole. Uh, typically on the standard OG, you have the thumbprint on the tongue. But, you know, this is a special release for the holiday and all. Uh, so they, they went with a different design there this time around. You got your carbon fiber on the outsole as well. Uh, so definitely a dope sneaker. A lot of players that had the PEs of this back in 2008. Like I saw Chris Paul wearing one. Uh, of course, Melo, you know, he was the uh, Jordan Brand endorsed player at that point in time. So, you know, he had a, his own special colorways. Joe Johnson had one in some photos with, with his time with Atlanta. So, you know, and just to put things in perspective, 2008 was the, the season that the Celtics beat the Lakers in the finals. Um, that was the big three Celtics, you know, uh, Garnett, Paul Pierce, Ray Allen. I think it was that, that group of guys. And the, the, I do have the draft list here, though. So Derrick Rose was the number one overall pick. Uh, Michael Beasley, OJ Mayo, Russell Weck, Westbrook is up here. Um, Kevin Love. You know, so some of these guys are still in the league. Eric Gordon, you know, like Brooke Lopez. So a lot of these guys are like towards the, the latter part of their career, of course. Uh, Serge Ibaka, of course. Uh, if he plays this upcoming season. But yeah, that just put things in perspective with what was going on 15 years ago, which is a long time ago. And I believe uh, LeBron is in like his 20th season at this point. So, you know, he was still like five years into, the, into his own game at that point in time without a championship, I believe. Uh, but yeah, you see like the, the hints of the rabbit uh, nods there. You have the rabbit, Chinese New Year. You got your gold tip laces here. So like I said, a lot of quality features on this sneaker. And the silhouette has grown on me quite a bit. Uh, but what do you guys think? Is this something that you're going to pick up? It's a little bit more pricey than the normal J's. And as you can see, you know, the special paper like I mentioned earlier. So yeah, what do you think? Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to like the content if you like it. Until next time. Peace.